Uh, hello, it's me, Shrewboy313. Welcome back to Pokemon XD. I'm not gonna lie, definitely very nearly said <laughs> Dragon Quest XI. And that was simply because, honestly, that Let's Play went on for the best part of this year. <laughs> and, like, I just said, like, this, there was how many episodes? Like, 113? I just said it that many times. It was just, like, ingrained in my brain at the end of it. Either way, yeah, this is Pokemon XD. Uh, in the last episode, was it the last episode that we got Nomal onto the team? Like, I know we have, if we look, yeah, I know, look, I realise we technically have a full team of six, but the four on the right, I'm not using them. The only ones that I'm actually using are the two bitches that are out here. <laughs> and basically, something I have been thinking about is my, like, the choices I make in the Pokemon I want, I like using in, you know, Pokemon games. I have, like, a really bad habit of just, instead of having, like, a quote-unquote good team in air quotes you know like a team that would have like good type coverage I just tend to choose the team of Pokemon which I like which I realize that's probably the, the better thing to do since like if you're just a casual player like I am but because of that I'll often I'll just end up making a team up of like Pokemon and then they'll just be like a massive gaping hole because I have loads of Pokemon a week to one type. And this is something I noticed- Oh wow, that one had a lot. Yeah, there's something I specifically noticed in- I mean, as of right now, the most recent generation, you know, Scarlet and Violet. Where, like, I think it was half of my team- So, hold on, I used an Arbolive. Whatever that dung beetle Pokemon was called that evolves into the- Basically, like, the Scarab Hieroglyph looking one. I know I nicknamed it Duncan, but D-U-N-G-C-N Duncan. I'll work, Amber. Um, but what was my point? Oh yeah, um, Arbolive, Duncan, and, uh, like, Flamigo. And because I ended up using them on my team, it was like, three out of the six Pokemon I ended up using were all weak to fly <laughs> types. And then I also remember that I just straight up did not have, like, from what I can remember, anything that was super effective against flying. Like, I know my starter Pokemon was Fuecoco. So, like, obviously my starter Pokemon <laughs> was, like, Fire Ghost. And then I'm gonna be- oh yeah, I know I used- oh, what? Again, I don't remember- I think it was called, like, Dodonzo, the massive whale. And then there's one other Pokemon that I straight up cannot remember that I used. Which is, I know that's a horrible thing to say about, like, my team of Pokemon. Also, I fully just did not even acknowledge Miss Mom that we just fought there. Like, I'm so sorry to her, but I had something to say. <laughs> like, was I going to talk? Yes, I was. And you would too if you were making YouTube videos in this style. Like, if you were just on microphone for, like, approximately half an hour. Oh, look, aren't we back at the entrance, question mark? I don't know. I never thought that Cypher's big man would deign to- I do not know what deign means, but I've got me- Oh, I've just got an- okay, work. I've just got an email. I was gonna say, I've got my phone next to me. Let's Google it. I saw him in real flesh and blood and he's menacing. The sight of him gave me shivers. Oh, Master Grievel. But like, oh, you mean- oh yeah, like the old man. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> Dane, to do something that one considers to be beneath one's dignity. So basically it's like undignified for him to like turn up to like this lab basically is what he was saying I think. Clots, okie dokie. Right, I work. Okay but with that Chimeco and now this Kecleon I feel like the Pokemon that are getting used in this I know it's a lab, I nearly called it a factory <laughs> in this lab, but they certainly seem like they're getting stronger. Oops, oh no, I don't want to do that, I want to use Confusion and then Shadow Blitz. Because I think this is the point where Snubble is still normal to- yeah, this is- of course this is the point when Snubble's still normal to- <laughs> oh. Oh, actually, no, that's alright. Oh, no, that's just a thought. Is Shadow Blitz going to change its type as well? 
Oh, that just gave yeah, that just gave me a thought. Basically, what I was saying, this is of course Snubble is still normal type. Fairy wasn't introduced for another three generations. Oh, okay, normal. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I won't complain because that means we can like get his heart gauge down to zero. So, you know, it's not bad, but we are just going to have to sit through seven stages of <laughs> normal getting hurt at the end of the turn. Right, although, we can just bite and get rid of this Kecleon. There we go. Slay. And although doing this now, like say, I do realise I want to be using normal, so part of me wants to keep using normal, even though I realise I have the other Pokemon whose hearts I need to open, still. But then again, Joey's now level 21, which I realise that's a sign maybe I should slow down. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't help it. I have places to be. Oh. Oh, alright. Huh. I could have sw Oh, oopsie. Because I've just realized I'm going to be shadow- Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, what I was about to say is... Well, first of all, I'm just going to tackle the shroomish just to be careful, and then I'm going to shadow blitz his snubble. Yeah, I thought there was only three Pokemon, like, actually inside of the lab that you had to snag, and I thought the Carvana was the last of them. Yeah, for some reason, I thought it was Spinarak, Nomal, and Carvana. I thought they were the... Uh, okay, no, there is one more. But I didn't think it was the Shroomish. Right, okay, well. <laughs> gagged me a bit for sure, I guess. <laughs> Like, the gal being me was got. They got me, gal. Oh, either way, we're still gonna have to take down this bloody snubble. So, I mean... I think what I'm gonna do is... Uh, I'll confusion the snubble. Um, I'll, I'll shadow blitz the shroomish, because I know that'll be not very effective. And Again, even though it's a shroomish... Like, it's still... What is it? It's still pretty flimsy and weak. Right. <laughs> and I mean, Breloom, don't get me wrong, it is a good Pokemon. It's just not on the list of things I want to use. Oh, that did nothing. And I mean, I already have a grass type in mind that I want to use, and it is much worse <laughs> than Breloom. <laughs> right, just to be safe and to cover me bases, I'm just gonna, yeah, heal Joey while here. And then I think even with a crit, tackle w yeah, a tackle wouldn't get anywhere near KO in it. Oh yeah, I was see, I was worried for a second about tackle, like that activating effects ball, but I do realise that like when their hearts are closed, they don't have their wait, no, do they have their abilities? I know they don't have the moves or the natures. But, oh, no, actually, no, what, never mind. <laughs> I might have just said something very stupid. <laughs> Feel free to ignore me, don't worry. <laughs> anyway. Let's hope this gets caught. <laughs> Lovely gal, thank you. Oh, is this going to be one of them rooms where we have to fight the second guy as well? If it is, I'll probably do Unless they have a shadow Pokemon as well, I'll just cut out the second one. Bye, Shroomish. No, oh, God. You don't know how scary Loverina, she's in charge here, can be. She looks cute, but she's nothing short of terrifying. Oh, look. They've dropped something. Ah, Nubble's ready to be purified. Slay. Oh, and I... Ooh, wait... Wait, oh gosh, which one was I? Wait, can we? Oh. Oh, I think there was an item in there as well. You know what, we can go down and around, it's fine. Right, either way. Yeah, I'm just, literally, cause, just because I know the healing machine's up here, I'm just going to pop and heal. Because why would I not? And then I think, even though, what is it, normal is ready to be purified... And it probably would, like, in the interest of, like, purifying everything quicker. 
Lonely Nature, Chlorophyll. Oh, they're all getting close. Mudslap, Toxic, Raw. Oh, Secret Power's not bad, actually. But also, just on the off chance I need to use me storage Pokemon, do I have any... Oh, Carvana has black glasses. I'll take out the Mareep and replace the C-Dot. Just because I'm thinking it'll probably be stronger. Like, again, that is just on the off chance that I need to use them. Right. I don't remember where it was, but I know there was definitely somewhere that was locked. So, I mean, who knows where it was? <laughs> That's my issue. So, I mean, even if I do just end up wandering around again, that's fine. I'll have, like, worst comes to worst, I'll just have, like, retraced my steps and end up back where we were. Best case scenario, I'll end up walking somewhere where I've not been. Like. Because, I mean, we've de yeah, we've definitely not been in here because of this chest. <laughs> oh, work. Right, hey, y'all. Hmm, this is no place for a child to be sightseeing. Right, okay, so we definitely headed the Morbit. Okay, we definitely headed in the right way. Slash direction. And yeah, like I say, like normal, if this is a battle of no consequence, like I'm just skipping to the end of it, you're not going to be forced to sit through it. It was fine, he had nothing of consequence. <laughs> like his other Pokemon was a Staryu, and it wasn't a Shadow Pokemon. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Morbid. I'm sure there is a joke about morbidity in there. Morbid morbidity in there. Oh, wait. Is there really nothing in there? Oh. Was this just an extra room? I think this was just a room, wasn't it? I mean, obvi obviously it's a room, you know what I mean? <laughs> like... Right, we've been there. Yeah, it was just a room with the super potions in. Right, yeah, because we had to battle them two guys. So then we'll go back up there. Is there a route I've missed somewhere? Or have I not? Right, no, okay, no, because we started the episode here. That's fine. Um, Right, we can't go up there. So we'll have to go here. Did I go all the way up? Yes, I did. And I left, I left before opening this. There we go. Oh, you know what? We'll talk to this person just in case. I'm only a researcher. I don't battle. That's fine. Okay, thanks, King. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Hold on. So it's not that way because that's a dead end. But then, yeah, this just goes back to the beginning. So yeah, the dead- well, I mean- oh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I purified it just from walking around. Work, didn't know that was a thing. Ah, right, it was- right, I was- it was down there, wasn't it? Um, I think in that case, I might as well just go wild and drop Sveal off while I'm here as well. Pick up something else. Also, I suppose heal as well. Because, I mean, that adds Sveal to the- I think I've now got four Pokemon ready to be purified. There's Baltoy, Poochiena, question mark, Numol, and now Sveal. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's just take Shroomish, because it's last in the line. <laughs> That's probably not how that should work, but it's how it's going to. There we go. There are my bitches that are ready to be purified. Really, I probably should have taken the C-Dot with me because it was probably the closest. But like I say, when I go to Mount Battle eventually, and I'm allowed to do the challenge properly, there is, like, there is going to be need for me to, like, grind out a little bit. So either way, I can probably, what is it, do all of me purification stuff there. Oh. Okay, work. I'm not running back again. <laughs> I'm not this time. <laughs> oh. We're here. You understand, don't you, that it's wrong to turn ordinary Pokemon into shadow Pokemon against their will? Please, won't you help us stop the shadow Pokemon plan? Join us and help save Pokemon. Professor Crane, I understand what you're trying to say, but I can't help you. Whoa. 
Aren't you that kid I saw at Pokemon HQ lab that time? Hey! How y'all doing? It's too bad I'm still a member of Cypher and I can't very well let foes go now, can I? And as for you, you snagged my Tediosa from me that time. Yeah, now it's just rotting in a box. Sorry if you had some kind of attachment to it. <laughs> um... Right. Wait, does Raihan know any... What is it? Yep. <laughs> does Raihan know any what is it? Yep. Ground type moves is what I'm after. Uh, what does Hound Hour know? Oh, you know what? No, we'll switch in Marip, so at the very least it knows Thundershock, and we can Thundershock that Murkrow. <laughs> oh my god, did it use it on Nubble? Okay, work. <laughs> I mean, that was very dangerous and- I mean, it was level 18, never mind. It's a stab move, it doubled in power because I switched out, and it was levels above, so... It makes sense. I can be mad at it, but I shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, there goes Raihon, just in time for Mareep to get some experience. <laughs> And I mean, again, like I say, because I'm paranoid, I'm going to diversify my attacks up, even if it means not KOing either of them this turn. I'm okay with that. <laughs> like... Oh. Again, this is one of those things, I realise it's a stab move and that Joey probably is a bit over... Well, not over-leveled, but a bit stronger. Ooh, damn, this boy got a Beldum. <laughs> He's got some good-ass Pokémon on his team. Anyway, I know he says, I mean, I say he's got some good ass Pokemon. I one hit KO two of them. <laughs> oh, and I've just realised Beldum's still in that. This is still that era when, what is it? Steel resists dark, isn't it? That's unfortunate. So, yeah, that's just going to be neutral. Because it's a steel psychic type. R.I.P. <laughs> well, let's just hope Mareep survives. Oh, that's fine. I was going to say, let's just hope Mareep survives the turn. She's fine if she's not getting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I mean, because they've mentioned Lavrina being in charge of this place and the fact that she is here. Oh, okay, thanks, Mareep. I like, after we do this battle, I am gonna heal me Pokemon with items. Ooh, bloody hell, just in case. Because I have a, like, a sneaking suspicion. Yes, Marie, you can stop hitting yourself now. It's fine. I have a sneaking suspicion that she, like, she battles us on the way out. So, I mean, I'm hoping we get chance to... What is it? Oh, work. That was a lot. We get the chance to like open the chest that's in this room first. And maybe it'll be some healing items. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Sorry, King. Oh, also I realise he's been reduced to Cypher Peon, he's no longer a spy. Professor Crane, you folks don't have the foggiest notion about how big and scary Cypher is, it's not smart to resist. You can go on about the Pokemon, poor abused Pokemon and all, but you should think about your own selves, that's my advice. Alright. Shroob, did you really come here by yourself? That's amazing. But it's dangerous, so we better get out right away. My worst fears turned out to be true about Cypher, they weren't wiped out. This is just one of their bases, but the details- okay. Thanks, Crane. Now let me grab these. Ooh. I mean, yes, does Nuz doesn't Nuzleaf evolve with a Leaf Stone? So C dot to Nuzleaf, yeah, so you can get Shiftry if you want it now. Right. Joey's healed, and... Again, I don't know if I'm going to use them in the next upcoming battle, or if this is just wasteful. But the fact that I'm healed, it at least means I'm healed. And I realise that's a stupid sentiment to make. But if I'm healed, I'm healed. Then I'm not 
in danger, basically. <laughs> we could just go. Right, so I mean... Do we get to see the computer on the way out? Maybe. Oh. Hey. Hey, Pink Katsune Miku. How y'all doing? Oh, hey, you. You sneaked Crane out. Lavrina, the child here. He's the intruder. Oh, she's got them anime girl legs as well <laughs> in a stance. Oh, wait. Wait, I so have not heard about anyone leaving anywhere. Professor Crane is so going to be very busy, oh so very busy, so please be a nice boy and don't disturb us. We're going back to the HQ lab, stand aside please. Going back? Seriously, you are so joking. This so happens to be where you work from now on. After all, we so need you to keep working on your studies. You are so key to the, p <laughs> key to the plan. XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that can never be purified. Stop that nonsense. Do you seriously think that would help that I would help you do anything that horrible? Oh that naps. He so must have made a boo-boo again. I so have to punish him lots. Little boy, maybe you can convince Crane. You should so tell him to study at XD001. You see, our plan is to make shadow Pokemon that can never ever be purified. XD001 is our only first prototype. So when we work out the problems, we can make combat units with the XD series Pokemon. Wouldn't that just be peachy? But we so need the Professor's cooperation. Sorry, Diva. <laughs> How nasty, you silly boy. You won't he help me with XD001 either. Oh, you'll be sorry. You, but you will so understand. A little hurt is so persuasive. I would say, hey, Queen, but she's not quite there yet. <laughs> You know how when we say that's mother, she's not quite mother yet, she's like, she's cousin at the moment. Right, um... Can that beautifly really do anything just yet? Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm, I know this, like, Love Disc is only Love Disc. It sucks ass. <laughs> That's horrible to say. Like, I don't think I'll be able to take it out in one turn, but, hmm, I was going to say, it's going to use Water Gun on normal on it. Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I thought they were going to Water Gun normal. Alright, that was a choice. <laughs> Fine by me. Like, this isn't gonna take out Love Disc at all. Okay, it is. <laughs> Never mind. Right, well. <laughs> well. Okay, Roselli, I'm con. I'm con yeah, confident. I was gonna say I'm convinced. I'm confident I can take that out with just one attack. Right, um. Yeah, Hound Hour should be fine. Because I was going to say, at the very least, it won't be able to use Bug or Grass-type moves on Normal. And then Roselia won't be able to do much either. So yeah, I think Hound Hour's the right choice in this situation. <laughs> also, by Roselia, big fan. Rose Raid is, in fact, my favourite Pokémon of all time. Anyway, here's Delcatsy. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, they like it's been years since I last played Pokemon XD, but the last time I played Pokemon XD, I also used this Del Delcatsy. <laughs> I say I also, I used the Delcatsy like it was a one and done, the only one of one. Uh, yes, I'll double up on it. I think Joey outspeeds yeah. And I'm confident even if I do one-shot the Beautifly, Ember won't take out Delcati. Oh, there we go, that's fine. We're good. For now. <laughs> right, so Ember can finish it off. The the Beautifly, I mean, and not the Delcati. Right, because I mean, 
Obviously, Lavrim is clearly a boss here, like a boss battle, like boss Michelle Obama, purse so heavy, getting Oprah dollars, very much those vibes. Shout out to Fifth Harmony, apparently, good lord. <laughs> um. Also, double checking, I don't actually know whether shadow attacks get impacted by accuracy drops. Like, I probably <laughs> should have checked. <laughs> you know what, this next turn, first and foremost, I'm going to be healing Joey, but... I mean, I guess I can, like, double... Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I'll double check now, gulp him. I'll, I'll look at you. Oh, no. Okay, they do have accuracy, right, that's fine. Right, in that case... I mean, me saying in that case, it has nothing to do. I'm going to heal Joey. And then I think I can get away with another Ember. I say I think I can. Rude. <laughs> I'm wondering, would it maybe actually be smarter to maybe switch in another Shadow Pokemon instead of Joey? Which... <laughs> which of on the team here is beefiest? Who is... I mean, does it really matter? That's nothing. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, Gulpin's the beefiest. In you come, Queen. Um... And then I'll actually Shadow Blitz. Specifically for the not very effective. Because I will say, every time I was using Ember there, I was paranoid about burning this Delcati. Because <laughs> I could rather not if I can control it. Yeah, also, switching in Gulpin specifically to, like, resist the Shadow Attacks. Yeah, that did nothing, and I'm fine with it doing, like, nothing. Uh, Gulpin, you can... See, because Sludge has chance to poison, but Ember has chance to burn. You know what, I'll just chuck a Great Ball and hope for the best. <laughs> and I'll use Ember again. Because I don't think I specifically have anything that can, like, paralyze or put to sleep at the moment. I don't know. Yeah. I will say that is what I, that's why I used a great box. I knew a Pokeball would fail at this point. Cause like Delcati, it's an evolved Pokemon, so obviously it's like capture rate's gonna be a bit higher, isn't it? Right, so Okay, it's yellow, that's fine. Hopefully it doesn't again, hopefully it doesn't burn. Right, slay. Um oh I'll just I'm just going to start wanging Pokeballs at it, I don't care. Right, and then just again, because I'm paranoid, I realise shadow attacks do next to nothing, but I, it's safer. Even if I do get a crit, like, I'm running no risk of burning it. But sadly, yes, we are going to have to sit through every single one of these turns. Also, if Hound Hour goes down next turn, it goes down. It's already ready to be purified, so we can just heal it, it'll be fine. Uh, so I'll actually attack with Gulpin this time, and then I'll throw the ball <laughs> on Hound Hour's turn. Look, it makes no difference, neither of them are going to be doing, like, any damage. I'm just paranoid. Because, like, yes, I could use Toxic or Sludge, but then they... They are like, I mean, Toxic would poison and Sludge runs the risk of poison. And I don't want that. Oh. That was a choice. <laughs> like, she could have taken down Hound Owl, but actively chose not to. I mean, once again, her choice, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's try the Great Ball now that it's down to yellow. And then I think next time we get to a shop, I might see if we actually have Great Balls available. Because, yeah, having more than 10 Pokeballs are nice, but, I mean, if, the, there, if there are... Rude. If there are Great Balls, I might as well try them. Okay, bye, Hound Hour. <laughs> it was nice having you here. See you soon. Um... Yeah, Joey can come back out. I know she's doing like 20 damage per attack against Joey. 
But my thought process is I can throw a ball on with like with Gulpin's attack and then just use tackle with Joey. There's my thought process. <laughs> You're welcome. You didn't need it, but you've had it. Because again, yeah, tackle it's physical, which obviously Joey flops with. And it's also not stab, so we'll be doing very little damage as it is. Never mind. <laughs> we did it, Joe. What on earth? How could you be so strong? Bye, Delcati. <laughs> Time for you to rot in the computer. Oh, I so hate to say this. Little boy, I can't beat you right now. Master Grievel will be so cross with me, but... But that's okay. I'll let you owe me this one time, but you have to promise you will think about my plan next time. If you see XD001, I'm sure you will so want to help me. I'll so be waiting for you. L Lavarina. Oh, we dropped something as well. Troob, you've grown tough, haven't you? In fact, I'm amazed at how much stronger you've grown in this shorter time. Guess I'll be relying on you from now on, or a lot more. Ooh, a data roll. Fun. Hmm, this may be something important, so I'll take it back and analyze it. Fair. You know how Jovi was on the moped when Jovi was with us? Oh, we're just back, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Thanks to you, Shrub, I was able to return safe and sound. Sincerely, thank you. Though it was a horrible ordeal, I learned a few things when I was in that desert lab. First and foremost, Cypher hasn't disappeared. In fact, the fact that they're still around is alarming. Worse, they're making more Shadow Pokemon again. And worst of all, they're trying to create the ultimate Pokemon. Mary, I was there. Like, you don't need to be explaining this. I mean, I guess he's saying that for everyone else. But I was like, I was there. Anyway, we did it. The Purify Chamber's complete. Oh my. Oh, what fantastic timing. It's finally finished. Lily, thank you. Thank you for pulling everyone together so capably in my absence. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's go have a look at the chamber. Let's. Do I get... Okay, I get a choice. Right. Yeah, because I don't want to right now. Apparently, I want to slowly amble upwards. Basically, what I was going to say is I'm going to leave this episode here, and we'll take a look. Is Houndow still dead? Okay, no. <laughs> We're kind enough to heal it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here, so uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you really want to. And in the next one, we'll check out the purification chamber. Because, I mean, it'll save us going back to Agate Village, won't it? Okay, bye.